welcome back, Rankers. You having a good day? I had an interesting weekend. Apparently, I called the uh, federal election early. I didn't know I was calling it early because I was just looking at the data. And apparently, it was a little bit controversial because we had a bit of our own sort of um, Trumpian type upset, you could say. Uh, we had someone apparently who was meant to win and they didn't. And the other bloke did. And so I'm just going to call them red team and blue team today because politics really makes me sick, but I find the data very interesting. And you may remember I did a show a couple of weeks ago about the federal election, how it was affecting sales. And, and at the time, I also tweeted out this slide, which was just a screenshot from Google Trends, right? And it's just the last seven days at that time, so from the 24th of April, we'll back seven days, uh, showing what people were searching for in relation to the major parties and their leaders. And I said at the time, I, I wonder if uh, the politicians are looking at this, because one of the things that struck me with certainly the Labor search here, or the blue search, I should say, in this particular case. Sorry, I'm going to get the blue and red mixed up. It doesn't matter. They're all the same. Um, so the, the blue one, which in this case happens to be Labor, um, when I put that search in, all the related queries were around superannuation tax, superannuation policy, and then there was this one here called inheritance tax as well. And that was on the 24th of April, I thought, Wow, when, when you compare that to the Liberal Party, there doesn't seem to be anything there around taxes or negativity. You could say the leadership spill was negativity. Certainly some of those other words other people would say are quite negative. But there's no, uh, I guess, overriding theme like there was with the other search, which is all around finance and super and what's happening to my money. Then on Saturday, and I didn't intend to do this, and uh, I just thought, oh, I'll just screenshot what people are thinking about. Because if you've been following this show for a while, you know that we used Google Trends back in 2016 to predict Trump, right? And then we went back, and I went back through every US election since 2004 and showed the data how Google Trends would have predicted the outcome of those elections. Okay, so this isn't new to us, so if... If, this is, if you're struggling to get your head around some of this data, um, there's a background to it. But basically what it means is it's the volume of people searching, right, for these particular keywords. And this search was done yesterday morning. You can see that it was 11.11 I did it. And it was the last four hours of searches for Liberal and Labor. And this is pure volume over Australia, the last four hours. And what you can see there is that the blue line, the blue team, is way ahead of the red team. And that, that gap widened during the day. Now, some people have said to me, um, and I also went through this when I first started looking at this about four or five years ago, was, well, hang on, just because more people are searching for you, does that necessarily mean you're going to win? The answer is yes, <laughs> it does. And we know this because we've got presidential elections going back to 2004. Uh, we've got the 2009 election uh, for, for Australia, and I did another one since then, I think. I've done a few of these. But anyway, what it means is, is that if, if your party is leading on the day, you tend to win in Australia. In America, it's if the presidential candidate is leading on the day, they tend to win. But when you see, and even if you don't agree with, with the, how I interpret the data, but even if you look at that, right, there are probably it was like 20% more people searching for the blue team in this example rather than the red team, okay? So that means this is election day. They're at the polls. They're heading to the polls. Why would you search one team more than another? Chances are that team is going to get more things written down for it at the ballot box. So, and when I broke it up over um, the whole country, it was meant to be... A, uh, this was meant to be a big uh, election on climate and, and things like that, right? So um, that's, the, that's the buzz I got um, from, the, from the media. I tried to avoid it, but sometimes it, it, it leaks through. And you can see there that breakdown of, of the Greens and the, the Blue and the Red team, that the Red team is suffering quite a bit in, in that graph right there. They're not getting penetration. And it's like a brand, right? If your brand isn't getting penetration, and I rang into um, a callback 
radio in Melbourne, uh, ABC 774, and I spoke to John Fane, who I used to see regularly when I was on ABC. And I said to them, you know, why isn't anyone looking at this? And they had someone on at the time who's a social media person. I don't know who they were. Um, sorry, I didn't get, get your name. But they basically said that, oh, Google Trends doesn't show sentiment. It's like, well, that's just a, a total fundamental misunderstanding of the data. So it's not that Google Trends is showing sentiment, but just think of it this way. Google's advertising products, their artificial intelligence products, are set up to determine intent of a user's search. Okay, so Google can determine the intent of a user's search based on artificial intelligence. What we're looking at here, we can make certain assumptions based on the nature of the search and when it was done. You can make some fairly logical jumps, I would think, such as if you are not getting the most search on the day, you're probably going to lose because no one's looking for you. Pretty simple, right? The other one is this. I thought that was funny. So <laughs> Tony Abbott, he's, he's, he's much hated by the people on the red team and some of the people on the blue team from my understanding as well. But uh, yeah, the people were asking if he's part of their team. No, he's not. He's not part of anyone's team anymore. But this search is, once again, it's just looking at the phrases related to um, the different teams. And what Google Trends will allow us to do is find what other queries people who say search for the red team are also going to search for. In this case, uh, they're searching for is Abbott liberal or Labor. Uh, and that, that graph down the bottom is, once again, you can see that gap widening of the two teams over the course of the day. But this is the one that clinched it for me. So at 10 to three, I just, I, well, at, well, at three o'clock I called it with my mate. And I just said, nah, it's over, blue team's won. I said, I don't know who was meant to win, but it's not the red team because when I looked at this graph and it was, once again, the last four hours, and it was saying, what are people more concerned about right now? And that's what I was looking for. What are they searching for right now in Australia? It's voting day. This is meant to be uh, an election about the climate and, and, and those sorts of things and all sorts of things. But that was one of the major things, right? And I looked at that and I went, hmm, people care way more about tax today. So that's probably how they're going to vote, right? So that was what I saw. And then, so then I looked at a back over the last 30 days and I went, oh, okay. People are way more concerned about their hip pocket as we've always heard over the years than they are anything else, okay? That always is going to be apparently top of mind. So there it is, there it is in, 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 the, in the data. But <laughs> when I looked at, you know, red team versus blue team or liberal labor over the last 30 days, the thing that stood out, and I have not been following this election, right? So. I don't know why these other pollsters and all get it wrong. No idea, because the data's all there, right? And you can see that any, anyone who looked at that over the last 30 days and saw all these related queries showing that the red team, major issue, major, 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 was death, death tax, inheritance tax. Now, look, I don't even know if they have those things. They may not. They may be made up. They may be fictional. All I'm saying is what people are searching for what Australians are searching for when they looked for the red team was all about death tax and inheritance tax and Coles opening hours. Anyway, that's it for this week's show and we will see you next week. Thanks very much, everyone. Bye.